Welcome back, my friends. This is uh, this week live, not quite live, because I've got to whiz it back all the way from sunny Cyprus. Cyprus, I had a little walk around yesterday, went to the um, marina and had a little look. Some nice big boats in there. There's also a lot of old boats in there as well. And Cyprus is an unusual place. It's sort of half European and half Middle Eastern and half Greek and half African. There's a lot of uh, migrants here. And I wondered why. I'm staying at the Four Seasons in Limassol. The room's quite nice, as you can see. And... Um, and I wonder why things were so dear. I mean, they really, really are dear uh, here. And uh, the re and you think it'd be cheap, wouldn't you? No, no, it's dear. And then I, I started to listen to all the accents around the hotel. And there's a lot of Russians here, great big ones with sort of tattoos here and muscles and little blonde women with them. Marvellous. It's good to be Russian. And then funny enough, the woman who cooked my omelette this morning was Ukrainian. And uh, so I wonder how she's getting on with all these people here. I noticed she wasn't wearing the Ukrainian badge that people do. I suppose people are sick to death of politics and war at the moment. So, yeah, so last night I went for a typical Greek meal uh, to a restaurant up a mountain where they don't serve you what you want. They serve you what you can have. And they give you a menu to point out what you're going to eat. And it's called a meze. And I know what meze translates from Greek to English. It's quite simple. A meze means shit. And I, you know, uh, and so I, I didn't eat much last night, which not a bad thing really so i went back to the bar here and had some scottish wine instead and uh, got in touch with vicky back at ustream and said for bloody hell in case the newspapers are all a bit funny or i can't get online which i could but i said you better find me some uh, some news and she sent through some horrendous things and i've checked them up on the newspapers this morning what's went on in southall last night then so eid Eid is um, the holiday that people have, the celebration, if you like, after Ramadan. Ramadan means that you don't eat. I suppose you have to go do other things as well. But the basic thing is, the basic thing is, you do not eat while the sun is out. Whatever that means. Uh, and so uh, the poor buggers are all bloody starving. Even the ones that work in the Bangladeshi restaurant serve in our scoff up after we come out of the pub. But anyway, Eid celebrations in Southall well you know this is going to come as no surprise to people in Southall uh, there was uh, a bit of a to-do it kicked off in Southall last night and the police were called and uh, the police were pelted with bottles and battens and had rubbish thrown at them and oh god this is what our country's turning into now and one bloke's been arrested a 15 year old doesn't say what his name is he's, he's been arrested for a public order offence now I don't want to start any trouble you know me but if that was a white crowd or a football crowd the police would have been in there having a field day wouldn't they they would have had a fucking field there tommy robertson had been there oh my god he'd be in prison for the rest of his life and they throw the key away but the police don't seem to be, do anything they don't seem to be getting anything right there was a woman murdered i've got her name here i'll try and get it right and i'll be disrespectful if i can't get it right cam cam camonan theophanit now that that sounds sort of i don't know thai something like that burmese anyway she was and she'd lived in this bloody great house uh, in uh, on the corner of hyde park and uh, a four million pound home people heard her screaming these terrible screams and of course the police turned up 13 hours later and found her body all stiff and horrible 13 hours later what is wrong with the fucking police it's all right arresting people for hate crimes, but you've, you, surely you've got to do the, the nitty gritty first, you know? Murder is, is a pretty bad crime. We don't really want that. We don't mind people. I don't mind being called a fat gammon by some snowflake. No, I don't mind that at all. So I wouldn't ask anyone to be arrested. J.K. Rowling, she is now back in the news again because of this trans report that's coming out saying the NHS and people were wrong to give these children puberty blockers when some of them were just just gay that was it and so oh well you must want to be a woman you know or people with various mental illnesses who change their mind like children do now suddenly they think they want to be a bloke again you look down from where your cock used to be and there's a ha ha note there i owe you one cock anyway 
all the lovies, you know, the lefty lovies that jump on the trans uh, wagon. Uh, there's a bloke, the leader of the opposition, the spokesman on things like that. I, I, I listen, I'm going to have to talk about him on Ustream because I can't say what I want to say on here because I probably won't be locked up, but I'll get myself banned so i don't want that to happen and i know a lot of you people watch youtube here some of you mistakenly think that this is my podcast it's not it's just a little advert for my podcast to try and get some revenue in so we can make some really really good programs that you don't see on tv you can have a little look for your free seven days on ustream.com uh, and for those of you in the comments are saying oh jim is just plugging his joke fucking right i'm plugging it it's brilliant enjoy it you will love it anyway jk rowling is going on about the lovies uh, I've never seen Harry Potter, so I wouldn't know a, a one if I fell over. Daniel Radcliffe uh, and uh, Emily Watson, and they, she's having a go for cozying up to the trans cult who have been eroding women's rights and pushing for the medical transition of kids. Well, good for J.K. Rowling. She's being a bit of a, a hero for common sense, isn't she, eh? Well, I can't talk more about it on here, so I'm going to have a little walk around the hotel and I'll take some little shots of you at the, at the Four Seasons. You can have a little look around. Food's good. Food is good here. Don't have a meze, though. Not in a little cafe halfway up a hill with blokes in sandals and you can... <laughs> dirty fingernails. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, I'll show you around the hotel and then I'll nip over to Ustream and gob off about what I want to gob off about. I've got some serious stuff to get off my chest. But I'll, I'll quickly show you around the hotel, which I didn't yesterday because I put that on Ustream only. And the people here are moaning because they wanted to see it, the staff. And uh, yeah, it's great. Some guy come up to me and, he, and he's a Greek looking man, a chef. He went, all right, Jim, I watch all your stuff on Ustream. Great, by the way. I'm well, talking of Scotland. Up there at the moment is our king and queen. Happy anniversary, your majesties, and I hope you're feeling better. Um, Charlie boy, what a thing to say. Well, that's how I feel. I, uh, I, I love uh, our king, and I hope he's, he's going to be well. I hope he's going to need someone to lead us through this madness. Okay, then. Quick little look around the hotel, a little bit of the credits, a little bit of a trailer of what you're missing on Ustream.com. Don't forget, you can get it on your phone as well, and you can get it on the TV, seven days free. What's to lose? For fuck's sake, come on, hit the button. And this is a little restaurant. Who do you know who? Do not speak to the newspapers. <laughs> So, what's it like to be a gangster? then? <laughs> Wonderful! That's the ring. It's a secret, I can't. <laughs> Hello everybody, Davidson here, and I'm here to tell you of an exciting, wonderful thing. You can have a seven-day free trial to get all of the Ustream package, if you pardon the expression. Yes, you can grab my package for seven days for no money, and then $3.99 plus VAT uh, per month thereon afterwards. So go to Ustream.com, sign up, and get your free seven-day trial. You will love it. Your nickels will dry out later.